So a lot of people ask, you know, what's the difference between all these units? Like these right here, they're all yellow, right? They all look the same, virtually the same. You know, there's a little bit of differences on them. But basically, you know, these, these right here are going to start out in price. This Dash XD is going to be more of an entry level. So this thing's going to be, you know, give or take around four grand. If you finance it, it's going to be about $94 a month. That's 0% uh, 48 months with approved credit and zero down. Uh, most everything out here you can finance at zero, zero for 48 with approved credit. Um, most manufacturers are doing that right now. So the Dash is more of an entry level. In, and the difference between the Dash going up to the Raptor, going up to the XD, and I'm talking in general terms, really, honestly, we're looking at Hustler right now, but I'm talking in general terms like mowers. You know, we've got, we've got multiple brands out here, so it really doesn't matter what color it is. They kind of change the same from different brands as well. So the dash is gonna, and all these machines just have transmission, two transmissions and an engine that drives the machine. That's pretty much it. Then the rest of it, you got the frame and belts and blades and stuff like that. But um, the, the, mass, the main drive unit is gonna be a transmission. And 95% of these units that we sell out here are gonna have hydro gear branded uh, pumps in them or they call them pumps or wheel motors or transmissions but basically what it is it's a self-contained drive unit and you've got one on each side for each wheel it's got oil in it and everything like that now on the on the entry level machines the dash and the raptor and a lot of the other brands on their empty on their entry level machines like the you know when you're in that four thousand dollar range somewhere in there you're going to have probably a hydro gear easy t pump and Hydro Gear is going to have a bunch of different uh, models of pumps. So the EZT is one of their entry-level pumps, and it's self-contained uh, as well, but it is sealed and not serviceable. So it's basically it go, you know, it's on the motor, it's on the machine itself, and it's just going to stay like that through the life of the machine. You don't have to change the oil, you don't have to do anything to it. It's sealed. You don't mess with it. If it if it fails somewhere down the road in the life of that machine and you want to replace it you can replace the transmission um, so when you go up in and, and you're going from the dash going to like a Raptor you're going up another step in in units this one's gonna have a little bit heavier ECT on it transmission it's gonna have a little bit heavier deck this one's gonna have armrests it's gonna just it's gonna drive a little bit smoother it's gonna have uh, some other features as well a little bit heavier frame you go up to a bigger frame heavier unit, um, more horsepower, you're going to have a heavier deck on it, bigger tires, bigger wheels, um, it's going to it's gonna uh, drive a lot smoother than your smaller with the, the small EZT transmissions. When you go to these, these go to a Hydro Gear ZT28 transmission which is serviceable. It has a spin on oil filter on each transmission where you can change the fluid out on it. So it's designed to mow more, which means it can it can take the heat, the longer uh, mowing time, and and all that kind of stuff. Um, and those are going to be, you know, you're going to be under six grand on something like this. But you know, if you're mowing three acres or something like that, you know, it's not just a yard. You're going to want something with heavier transmissions on it, three four acres, something you know, heavier transmissions on it. Um, and then you know you move up. So it a lot of the you know, we have all these high quality brands from Gravely, Skag, Hustler, and we have Altos, which is strictly commercial uh, for us anyway. And um, people ask me, you know, what's the difference and what mower's better? Is Gravely better than Hustler or which one's better? And I just tell them it's kind of like it's like Ford, Chevrolet, or Toyota, or Nissan, or whatever. You know, they all are high quality brands. Uh, they just have different size uh, components in it, different size motors. Most everything we carry out here has a Kawasaki engine on it because uh, we like to stock that, that brand. We've had the best luck with Kawasaki, but there's some some other brands on, of motors on these machines too. There are options, Kohler, uh, Vanguard engines, some of the big commercial machines. Um, so a lot of choices, but you know, the main thing is when you're going to look at a zero turn, it's a big investment. You know, you want to get on the machine and you want to drive it, test drive it, see how it feels. 
um, look at look at how it fits you you know the seat and everything like that so that's one thing about buying from your dealer you can't do that at Home Depot or anywhere else you know these big box stores you got to go in and look at the mower uh, and that's it so for us you know we service everything we sell we sell parts here we can we can mail parts to your door um, you can order online we also have 0% financing for four years to keep your payment really low. That's with proof credit. Um, so you can get a pay, you can get a zero turn for, you know, under a hundred dollars for a small one. And, you know, a average size, probably around $150, $160 a month. 